Well, are you shocked? Boba Fett Diecast went back up on Funko.com. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas of gas. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We had an all time line. Bumble's out, toys, and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. Okay, serious question. Do we have to talk about it? Yes, we have to talk Why? about it, Heather, because we're a Funko News channel. We talk about all the Funko News, and we have to talk about this re-release of Boba Fett. There's no news other than this. No. We just... Oh, no, no, there actually is news. Um, Funko is one of the top trusted companies in the United States. That's a, that's a big piece of news. Did you hear about that? Who trusts Funko? Because I sure as don't. The world trust Funko. Why? They sell stuff? It was in an article, Vulcan. Heather. I'm just telling you what was in an article. You wanted other news. I gave it to you and you're still angry about it. They are releasing Godfather Pops. Let's talk about that. The Godfather Pops look amazing. I like the guy and his pussy. What? This kitty cat. That's the Godfather. Don't call it the P word. Call it a kitty cat. I just God. said. Okay, well don't use the other word. It's weird. I just said it so people would wonder why. That's, That's the all. word you use when you're talking dirty to me. No, it isn't. Don't, like, in this instance, you call it kitty cat. In that instance, don't call it kitty cat because that'd be weird. You see? That's the difference. I call it a marshmallow pie. <laughs> you have never said that. Not even once. <laughs> Hey, baby, come on over. <laughs> I want to taste some of this marshmallow Ew, pie. Ew, come on, Heather. Okay, we're done talking about marshmallow pie. We're going to talk. We're going to we're gonna be very clear about talking about Boba Fett. Diecast Boba Fett with the sh chase that now everybody is saying the chase looks fantastic. And in person, it does look pretty good. I saw some photos of it. I'm on the side of, of, of the chase looking kind of cool. I'm not. Do I want it? That's the big question. And the answer to that is no, which is why I did not go after the restock today because I do not want this. I've decided I'm not collecting die cast anymore, unless it's something I really, really want. From henceforth, Funko's only gonna make Marvel. I'm totally f***ed. I'm a marshmallow pie, baby. <laughs> per usual, we collected a bunch of comments from today's drop, and I cannot wait to share them with you, but I did want to talk about something very important when it comes to Funko Shop. Heather and I went on our normal, leisurely walk, and we were discussing Funko Shop. The place that no one wants to buy Funko Pops from anymore because they all suck. Okay, not only are the Funko Pops that are on Funko.com common quality, but you also are spending a premium price for common quality. And on top of that, it seems like they have a common quantity. Common quantity, common quality, nothing good. None of that is good, especially if you like to collect stuff that's of limited number or something that's cool and stands out. Like if they put up a Funko Pop that glows in the dark and you can only get it from Funko Shop, that gives you a reason to go out and buy it. But if they give you a common looking Funko Pop that you can buy off a Walmart shelf, then who gives a f Nobody wants to pay the premium price. It's very expensive. At the end of the day, you're spending upwards of like $23 per Funko Pop. I think it's like $23.95 shit. Ridiculous. Yeah, for one pop. And I mean, that changes if you buy $50 worth of stuff, but then you're forced into buying $50 worth of stuff. Why spend that kind of money on a Funko Pop when you can buy marshmallow pie? Marshmallow pie, your wife's favorite dessert. Are we talking about the same thing? Because I was referring to... We've talked time and time again in excruciating detail about Funko NFTs. The things that most people right now absolutely hate. But Funko NFTs is the place where you're getting limited Funko Pops. And Heather said today, well, we don't really know if all of the limited Funko Pops are going to come from Funko NFTs. And she's right. That's the big question. Are we only going to get limited Funko Pops through the NFTs instead of Funko Shop like we did before in the past. And right now, it looks like that's the case. And my point is, they're making a lot of money on NFTs and they only have to make a very, very small quantity of Funko Pops to make all of that money. Funko would be super stupid to stop doing NFTs right now because they're making, sometimes it's like upwards of a half million dollars on NFTs when they only have to deliver like 8,000 pieces of a product, like 8,000 physical pieces. That's like nothing. They drop common Funko Pops that are like 15,000 counts. 8,000 is nothing. 
Okay, so I just did quick math. I didn't like actually go back to a drop, count the pieces, count the amount of money that they would have made, okay? And not only that, I'm not taking into consideration what they're spending on the artists and they're spending on the servers or whatever the f they have to spend to get these products. So with that being said, if they're making half a million dollars and only producing 8,000 pieces, that's roughly 62 and a half dollars per Funko Pop. Wow. Now, like I said, that's not a true number. That's like a half-assed math problem. But I guarantee you they're making way more on NFTs than they do making on their Funko Pops. Boba Fett sold out in just a few minutes the other day, but it went back up. It went back up today and it sold out in two hours. That's a pretty long time. Like, you know they made a buttload of these things. The drop the other day was such a rush because people were like, oh my God, I got one because it sold out in just a matter of minutes. Absolutely. But now today it takes like two something hours to sell out and people are like, oh, well I got something the other day. I felt accomplished, but now it doesn't feel so special because I'm not one of the limited few who were able to get their hands on it. So with that being said, I know there's a lot of people that are gonna come at me in the comments and say, oh, well I collect what I like and I don't care that it it was up for two hours a day. Funko is sort of doing something that they probably shouldn't do when they overproduce this stuff because it makes people less excited, even if it might not be you, Mr. I collect what I like, it makes people less excited for the drops because there's not that rush anymore. They're taking what I like to call the fun vacuum cleaner and they're sucking all the special out of all these Funko Pops. That's exactly what they're doing because the specialness is being able to get the Funko Pop, like Boba Fett the other day, in two minutes. And then it sells out and you feel special, you feel accomplished. Oh my God, then, I got one! Then today it goes up and it's up for two hours and everybody's laugh emoji it because it dropped again. And then they're gonna probably drop it again and again and again and again. And by that point, the chase doesn't even matter anymore. Who cares? So the specialness is virtually gone. And Funko now is trying to say, well, we're gonna do die cast chase Funko Pops. That's trying to put the special back into Funko Shop again, but it's just not gonna work. In reality, what they should be doing is taking the amount that they had to produce for this drop, right? So if there's a one in six chance of chase, they make 60 pieces, that's 10,000 chases. Why not, instead of going through all that work, why not just make 10,000 of the product and that's it. I, I, that's a very good point. I'm on board with you. And this is why NFTs are working out so well because when they sell out, they sell out and that's it. And then people like us, the consumers, are now going out to try to collect everything that we want to collect in order to get the royalty Freddy Funko, Funko Pop, or open more packs in order to get the legendaries and the grail. It makes it fun. Like it literally puts fun back into Funko. And I know a lot of you are in complete disagreement about this and I totally understand. I know it's not for everybody, but I think eventually that's gonna be where all the special is. I think all the special is gonna be in NFTs and frankly, that's where the special is right now. And what's really gonna turn the tides on all of this is when they do an anime drop. When they do an anime drop for NFTs. Oh man, all it's them going anime to babies. And crack They're the gonna... entire Funko Ugh. world. It's gonna be crazy. Same with Marvel, Funko and same if they do DC. Everybody hooked. It's gonna be immense. Believe me, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen soon, and it's gonna be really crazy. And now Funko is gonna drop NFTs every three weeks. It's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and crazier, and people, more people are gonna be involved in trying to get them. It's gonna make them harder to get. It's gonna be a Madhouse. Do you remember when we used to stand outside of stores on drop days I on do. like for like cons because they were more limited back then, right? Oh uh, yeah. And now it's like you can walk into a hot topic at like two in the afternoon and there's still a stack of stuff because they're overproducing. Overproducing. Everything. Even the con pops. And they keep re-releasing too. I like that NFTs are, hey, this is what we're dropping. This is what's being released. And that is it. NFTs make it feel like we're waiting outside on a con day, hoping to be one of the first people to get that item. You got it. It's winning the lottery every time we get in there. And the last two drops, we've done pretty good. I'm sure the next one's going to be even better and we're going to be pissed off because we didn't get what we wanted, but that's okay. We're not going to trash NFTs anymore. I, I promise we're not going to trash NFTs anymore. Until you lose. Until I lose, that's when we'll trash NFTs, but for now, we're cool.
Austin NFTs are pretty cool. Okay, so where does Boba Fett fit into Oh, this? perfect, yeah. So we collected a bunch of comments from today's Boba Fett. Also, you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of the video because one of our buddies sent us a box full of goodies and I cannot wait to see what's inside. It's gonna be super, super awesome. And also, come back tomorrow because we're gonna be unboxing WonderCon Funko Pops 20... Oh, you got a bad hand, you got a bad hoof. Yeah, I forgot, I Heather got, got injured. I got a Just give me your other, here, other hand. There we go, perfect. Yeah, stick that around tomorrow. Weird. It did, it was weird. Yeah, it was like, it was like pressing butts against each other. Mm. You know what I mean? In bed. Can we try that? But anyway, come back tomorrow because we'll be unboxing a bunch of WonderCon things and uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. We got all the sodas. We may get some chases. We'll have to check it out. We will be doing that tomorrow unless there's really big Funko news. We're, we're most likely, I don't think there's gonna be that. Uh, think, Tuesdays? Yeah. Not know. really, not really. Right, yeah. All right, so Boba Fett comments. There's a ton. Has anyone else got 17 emails from Funko about this being in stock? People, for whatever reason, were getting a ridiculous amount of emails letting them know that Boba Fett was in stock. Guess what? I didn't get one. Neither did I. And I get all of Funko's emails. Same here, but- Maybe ours went to you. Ow. I just somehow flicked this into my eye. Maybe ours went to you. Oh my goodness, been on for over an hour and hasn't sold out. Laugh emoji, laugh emoji, laugh emoji, laugh emoji. Definitely a shitty day for flippers, laugh emoji. So it was up for a while. Two hours is a pretty good amount of time considering last week it sold out pretty fast. Last week when this thing sold out, it was literally a flipper's paradise. Oh yeah, people were bragging. Oh yeah, I got mine, I got mine. I hope I get to chase. After today, if they're completely sold out, which I don't think they are, so if you missed out today, you probably will have yet another chance. But flippers must be crying today. F yeah. Flippers are trash. I love when flippers get mad. Got one praise hands emoji. Don't even care if it's not the chase laugh emoji. And I just wanted to collect this comment because the way the guys spell chase, this is the way we should be spelling chase. I like that. I just want to say like that should be the way because face has F-A-C-E space. S-P-A-C-E. Right. Chase. C-H-A-S-E. What? Webster's dictionary says what? Are you done? Rip those who overpaid skull emoji. Yeah, I feel bad for those people. I don't because they're not patient. Yeah, be patient about this stuff, guys. Be patient. You'll get what you want at a good price. Don't go and j hop on it like immediately like Heather did when we first met. That's the biggest f***ing lie I've ever heard. That took long. If I remember past iCast have said we'll restock soon, this completely says sold out. I, I don't know what that means right now. I, I've never really kept like a handle on what happens after they sell out like this. It does say out of stock and sold out. So I don't know if that means it's really sold out or not, but I feel like a restock's coming. You thinking that? Yeah. Okay, high five. I don't want to do the weird high fives anymore. Well, not with your broken hoof. Just give me the other no, one. I, I oh, here, don't, I'll, I'll, give it, I don't. I'll, I'll do this. I'll do this. There we go. It didn't feel good. So if you got Boba Fett today and you wanted it, congratulations to you. And I hope if you wanted the chase, you get the chase. And I hope if you didn't want the chase, then you don't get the chase and you just get the comment. Exactly. We're, we're, really hoping, we're hoping it works out for you any way that you want it. Have it your way. You know who says that? Burger King. That's right. What does Wendy say? I know Quiznos is mmm toasty. KFC is, is it finger licking good? Yeah, and Subway has $5 footlongs. What? That's not a saying. That's not a quote. You know when it's real. Oh, God, that's the worst. That is the I am worst. so sorry for even bringing that up here. We're going to unbox something from one of our good pals. And this box is from our friend, Sean F. So we open it up, and it has a sticker, and it says Devil Dave's. Ooh, Bloody Mary seasoning. And we're also greeted with some... Wait. Oh, cool. There it is. Here's That's some, a really cool sticker. Here's some Scooby-Doo cards. Ooh. And here is a card to Look, us. These are physical NFTs. You see that? Bloody Mary sticks. Oh, this is interesting. Dear That's Chris so and Heather, cool. first off, happy belated birthday, Heather. Thank you, Sean. I hope you both are having a wonderful day. Congratulations on hitting 10K on YouTube. I want to thank you both once again for the amazing content and for making Gasly. We're, we're so um, happy to hear that you like Gasly. That's amazing. Included in this package are two belated birthday gifts for Heather, birthday wrapped, 
I do apologize that it took so long. Had difficulties with shipping and a seller. Ew! Uh, sorry you had to deal with a shivity. A shivity? I was trying to say shitty. <laughs> sorry you had to deal with a seller. Yeah, he's out there doing work to try to get you gifts. It's amazing. Three Funko sodas, one open, two sealed, in black poly bags for you all or for giveaway to your patrons. Welcome to Open Everything Live. Up to you, Sean F. Thank you so much. He's at It's Your Funko Boy and at Chef Yeah Boy on Instagram. So go and follow him and check him out. He's a good guy. Uh, so we have gifts here for Heather. Here's Wait, can we look at these, these Scooby-Doo's? We can, but here's a gift for you. I'm gonna pull out all the Aww. stuff so we have it out of the box. There's uh, a box here. It's like ultra wrapped, oh my goodness. There's a box here for you. And then here are some more cans here. Oh, these are cool. There's like a holographic look to them. That's cool. You got all the different characters. There's Fred and Daphne, the mystery machine. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. We just talked about that. How did you know I wanted this and didn't get it? Amazing Gage and Church. So they're a did Walmart exclusive. Glow in the Dark. I think we actually mentioned it in a video that did you did we? not have them. Great Funko Pop wow. set, by the way. Wow, thank you. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to glow them. Oh, this looks like the comet. So fun fact, Heather is uh, a big fan of out of box Funko Pops. So she puts all of these on her shelves out of the box, which is why I'm pulling it out right now. So that, that way she can put it on her shelf. These are yeah, so different looking. Yeah, and you want my looking. protector. So this is Gage and Church, I guess is like, is this like a ghostly look? Because they look sort of ghostly and we're gonna have to glow them in the dark too. Wow, that's he, so awesome. He looks a little dead. These are really great. I, I have not been this excited about Funko Pops in a long time. I really, really like these. I mean, the comments are cool, but these are super, super cool. Glow Pops are always amazing and Horror Pops are always amazing. And when you put horror with glow, that really gets my marshmallow pie going. So there they are together and the glow in the dark one just looks so cool. I love the look of the glow in the dark. He's sort of translucent looking too. Oh, I love them. Thank you so much, Sean. So we also have some sodas here, Heather. Okay. Oh, Beast Boy. Okay, so it's a it's a sealed Beast Boy. Teen Titans Go. Teen Titans Go. Okay, so we'll open it up. Ra oh, Remy from Ratatouille. Oh, this is a Pete. All right, so him. let's see what we have here. Look at him. Oh, he's awesome. That peg leg's cool. Okay, so this is a common, but that's cool. This is a cool looking soda. Look at his weird ponytail. Oh, he's cool looking. Look at that. Can I give you that exact hair? That's though? amazing. He definitely looks far different than what is pictured on the can. And if you're a fan of this character, please tell me why he's different looking. Oh man, Remy is awesome. He's amazing. Chase or not, that is a great soda. A big thank you to you, Sean F. You're amazing for sending us all these goodies. Uh, hooking up Heather on her birthday is thank amazing you, as well. Thank you, Sean. Uh, we love you, man. You're, 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 you're the best. You are the best. Okay, now can we glow Gage and Church? Oh my God, that glow is amazing. Wow. Yeah, so blue and white typically glow the brightest. We've talked about this multiple times on the channel. So thank you again, Sean F. You're amazing. And guys, what did you think about everything that Sean sent this? And also, what did you think about the Boba Fett drop that happened today? And the NFT thing. What do you think about those? I don't know if I mentioned it, but I finished my NFT royalty set for Scooby-Doo today. So I'm going to get that cap. Oh. I'm getting that Captain Cutler Freddy Funko and I'm so excited about it. So uh, a big shout out to you guys out there who collected it as well and were able to get the legendaries and the grails from that NFT set. Amazing and I cannot wait to see them in person. Let us know what you think about all of this and more in the comment section down below. In every video we like to shout out to some of our patrons for Patreon. In this video we'd like to shout out to Kevin Hartke, Stephen Owens, Tyler C, Ryan Guerrero, Shroot Farm Pops, Kaz Brooks, Pablo Perez, Sean Neal, Angel and Gray Guest, and Robert Offley. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons from Patreon. You guys rock. All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye.